Milton has a lot of good stories too. A lot of, oh god. You gotta get a juicy piece of root. Ah, oh, these mosquitoes. Ooh. He was right not to chew too much. Jean Boranji, natural anesthesia. Hello, it's Sunday and we're going on a hike. Okay, now we say goodbye to the nice green grass and we go into the dark forest. First of all, the incline for this hike at the beginning is like inclination level 20. It's very, very steep. You gotta hang on to roots and stuff. But here, Realton is showing me some natural anesthesia from the forest. Oh. This is what it looks like. And you take a piece of the root and chew on it. What is it called? Okay, Juan, know me this. Jean Come on. Jean And this is a natural anesthetic. So you pull it out, the leaves look like this and you pull it out and take a piece of the root to chew on. I really thought this one was weak. Let me try it out. So, chew on it a little bit. Got a mosquito. Yeah. Yeah, it's rock. This one's not that strong, but usually it starts to make your mouth tingle and have um, a numbing sensation in your mouth. We found a stronger one yesterday, but I'm happy to document this experience for you. This one's not very strong. Por que será que não está muito forte? Porque de repente ela tinha sido pedra, não teve muito. Maybe it was on top of that rock and it didn't get enough nutrients to grow properly and have the right strength for painkillers. É da qualidade também que o outro é mais roxo. Ah, uh, the quality too. The other one was a little bit more purple under the leaves. Mm -hmm. When it's purple under the leaves, it's a little bit stronger. So if you're in a lot of pain, look for that one. Chew on the root and your pain will go away. So if you have a pain on a specific location, you chew the root and um, spit their saliva onto the place that's hurting and it will have the same effect. All right, let's continue. Okay, so we found another one of these. Anastasia, what's it called again? Call Nomi. Amborangi. 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 Então, Amborangi. So, pode pegar. Vamos mostrar. Let's check it out. Let's see if we're going. Mais forte? But I, I got a bigger ice pedaza here. I'll take a, take this little piece of the root. This daqui está, que ela está seco, não? Que ela está seco esse daqui. So you gotta get the part that's not dry. It has some juice in it. You gotta get a juicy piece of root. Ah, oh, the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes here have really long legs, and they're like crazy. So you gotta get, wait, a piece of the root like that. Mastiga. Chew it a little bit. Um, it's kind of citrusy and yeah, this one's a lot stronger. My mouth's already starting to feel numb where I chewed it. Mastiga muito não, He said don't chew it too much. Uh-oh. Well, here we go, guys. Here we go. It's starting to burn a little bit. I feel it just on the side where I chewed it. It's a very strange sensation. Yeah, it's starting to burn a little bit more. That's in general. Numb. Mm -hmm. Ooh. He was right not to chew too much. But yeah, so all of the medicine you need is right in the forest. Ooh, it's spreading. <sighs> this root. What's the name of it again? Como se chama? Jean Borangi. Jean Borangi. Natural anesthesia. My mouth is numb, tingling. It reminds me of jambu, that fruit from the Amazon that they put in soup and cachaça and makes your mouth tingle. This is all to make my mouth tingle. It's really weird, but you know what? This is what I chewed it for. The experience. A little pass. 
Just like all other weird things in life, they pass. Everything passes. Check out this root. Or not root. The vine. I love the curly Q vines. It's really cool. You see it? It's burning. It burns. Ooh. But if there was pain, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Mom's. Well, Realton has a lot of good stories too. A lot of, oh god, a lot of crazy stories too. So he says that people who come to the forest, if they treat nature with respect and like nature, like the forest, everything will here will go very well for them. But on the contrary, if you don't like nature and disrespect it, things don't go very well for you here. So there was a neighbor that liked to hunt stuff and had guns and stuff for hunting, and he wanted a Realton to go out hunting with him because the realtor knows what the heck he's doing, know where he's going, so he's good at helping people. Of course, the realtor doesn't like hunting, but he went with this guy, and the guy somehow ended up... Okay, when this guy was with him, he took his own way. Yeah. He so this guy didn't like the forest and he fell and ended up shooting himself in the foot. And there's no cell phone service here. It's really rural. The road is really bad to get here. And like a Realton pretty much is like the neighborhood hero, always saving people's lives and animals' lives and always helping everybody. And even strangers ask him for help in the streets. Really wild. But so at that time he used this natural anesthesia for this guy before he could get him to the hospital. And that's just one of the crazy stories that he has from the forest. All right, I gotta use my two hands here, and it's a lot of uphill. <sighs> Downhill. So I'm trying to learn how to identify that um, anesthesia plant, and a realtor's helping me out. So here we have a few. A few different plants that look like it, and I had to choose which one it was and fortunately I did choose the right one and it is this one here so if you pull the root pull this out the roots are the anesthesia if this is purple underneath it's a very very strong one so keep it in mind if you need a painkiller in the middle of the forest it looks similar to other plants but oh see my stiga how you see cause I had the five mouth no Okay, so good news is, even if you choose the wrong plant and chew on a piece of the root, it won't hurt you. So you'll know if it's the right one if your mouth starts to, like, starts to tingle and have the burning sensation of anesthesia. Natural. This one, oof, okay. This one you cannot eat, and it looks almost similar to the other one. But the good news is, when you pull it out of the earth, it has a very strong and repulsive smell. And it's called, call it, Yeah, what do you have? Rat herb. And this one kills cows, so you don't want to eat that one. But if you smell it, um, you can smell a smell, strong smell that does not feel pleasant. My sichero, the thing shade on that. If you choose the anesthesia plant, doesn't have a smell, so keep it in mind, guys. Choose the right plants. Learning.